Hello viewers and welcome to another episode of Trash Talk on Flying Circus, where I talk about the planes in the book. In this episode, Mitcher IG J83 just like, from the Believer Playbook. The MiG J83 is the result of absurd conditions set by the war before the invention of interrupter gear. Earlier AJ-80 or 82 wedged a gunner behind the pilot with a machine gun, but it wasn't effective at fighting. Another design was devised, a gun mount was installed at the front of the aircraft, using support that hung around the propeller, carrying a LMG and a brave gunner. UWF observers assigned to this plane have combat life expectancy of 3 hours, pilots have 48, most of which were psychological casualties. Today, most J-83 are flown as single-seaters, using the basket for cargo hauling. Only the most suicidally brave observers would get in AJ-83, then again, if you are the observer in AJ-83 everyone knows you are suicidally brave, which has its benefits in bars. First, give me 5 seconds. <laughs> At this point of the series, I pretty much told you almost everything to know about early aircraft, so this episode is just me picking the most depressingly hilarious planes to talk about, and the Believer playbook is just full of it. I could talk about a plane that is a sword, a plane that redefines insanity, a plane with the flight stability of the American economy, and a plane that's actually normal, but there's also another reason why I picked the just like, it's because it's fucking real. No. No. It's not true. The Royal Aircraft Factory B.E.9 Pulpit was a British experimental reconnaissance aircraft made during World War I, and it really was, incredibly experimental. The intention of the designers was to combine the high performance of tractor configuration aircraft with a good field of fire for the observer's machine gun as provided by pushers. In a way, they did succeed in that aspect, but every time the plane flew, the coffin business is going to make profit. A lot of issues occurred such as the observer getting crushed by an engine just from landing incorrectly, the basket straight up falling in mid-flight due to intense vibration snapping the support, and forget about communication between observer and pilot, the observer was in constant risk of getting blended up by the propeller if they aren't taking maximum precaution all the time. And, somehow, despite everything, this is the one thing that made the British military to say no, we don't want this thing. The British military that already had such a poor training program that they killed more pilots in training than fighting even by the end of the war, that British military. I'm guessing that the British military was at least polite enough to keep the meat grinder they sent their men into from being a literal one. Anyway, because of this, only one BE-9 pulpit was made, and the rest of the order was cancelled. And then the French made 107 of their versions of the pulpit called SPAD SA and gave it to the Russians. So. The Mitcher IG J83, is a very decent plane at its price tag, a bit slow, okay handling, but good reliability, fuel endurance, stability, and max strain. Literally the only problem with this plane is, just, itself. Also, since the Just Like has two crew, you get a bonus in eyeball on seeing things, it even has okayish visibility stats, and the pilot can escape easily from the plane if they have a parachute. Not so for the gunner however, their seat has the isolated feature, which mean they can't leave their seat and suffer twice the injury on a crash, and honestly, they don't suffer enough stress for this. Also, while the Just Like only has one gun, it's a gassed LMG. The original gassed gun is a high fire rate machine gun developed by one Carl Gast during World War I. The weapon essentially has two barrels and recoil from one barrel feed and load the other one, creating a weapon with a staggering rate of fire. However, for whatever reason, it was rarely used during the war by the German side, presumably for the same reason the US Army evaluated after the armistice, that it consumed a lot of ammos quickly, and didn't really provide a sufficient advantage over existing machine guns. In Flying Circus, most weapons can be modified into gassed gun to provide twice the damage at twice the ammo consumption, without any weight increase, effectively doubling the firepower of the weapons. Yes, that sounds like a direct upgrade, which is why only two of the starter planes have it as an advantage over their otherwise terribleness. Anyway, thanks to its double fire rate, the gassed LMG is effectively two LMG at once, and the gunner can aim it left, right, and up thanks to it being on a turret, so it has both big volume of firepower in a small package with coverage in almost every direction, on top of having a telescopic sight for more accuracy. The just like is deadly, to both its crew, and the enemy. Now, let us take a look at its variants. The original A-80 is just an unarmed version of the plane, with isolated and the LMG removed, 
increasing its speed and significantly lowering the price tag, Gast LMG is also double the cost of the original weapon by the way, and putting it on a turret ain't cheap. The AJ-80-82 is an early attempt in arming the plane, with the gun set to rear only with very limited arc. It's not very effective so to speak, but at least it will only try to kill its crew like a normal plane would. Strengthened variant adds padding and roll cage, it doesn't specify which seat but I think we all know which one really needs it. The addition makes the plane a bit more sluggish, but at least the gunner won't instantly get squished on crash landing now. And finally, there's the Waffentrager variant, yes, it's sharing the name with this accursed, thing. This variant replaces the turret with a fixed no interference heavy cannon, while some World War I era plane does have tank cannon mounted in, they are usually mounted in the engine block because it's the only thing that can handle the recoil. Wooden support, probably can't, but who care, it's awesome. This thing is not made to fight planes however, it's made to kill heavy targets like tanks, but with a skilled or insane gunner, even a plane can be shot down by it. So, the Mitcher IGJ-83 just like, this thing is a fucking disaster, but it's a functioning disaster that can actually do its job well, which describe a lot of people I knew, but it still takes a suicidally brave pilot and gunner to get on this thing, which you will happen to have if you are going with the Believer playbook. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Trash Talk on Flying Circus, and I will see you all next time. Hello there, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell button. If you really want to support my channel, you could visit my Patreon page, or buy me some Kofi, links in the description. Anyway, have a nice day.